Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This, this, this premiere countdown, very loud. But I'm blocking it from you right now. But even, even at this volume, it's very loud. We're going to take a look at the Genshin 2.8 special program today. Yay! Uh, I don't know if I'll be uploading a full review of this. It did happen earlier today on Twitch. It's my understanding that there were some issues, we'll say, with the live stream. Uh, so hopefully the YouTube premiere will be less chaotic or uh, less interrupty, we'll say. Uh, but I do have the codes for you down below if you want to take a look at those. Uh, they will be there literally the entirety of this video. So uh, no need to pause or anything like that. They will be there for you. Uh, make sure you redeem them soon, because I have missed them before and I felt bad about myself, even though it's only like 300 Prima Gems. Which is not even two pulls, to be clear. <laughs> to be clear, it's not even two pulls. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take a look and see what's going on. I don't I don't have any context. I just know that a stream happened, um, and I haven't really seen anything else beyond that. So I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Is you who art blessed by the princess and official I captured your undivided gaze. Yes. <laughs> There's I guess. no helping it, I suppose. There's like Very well. big and Constance Nouvelle permission to vibes. behold the glory that is the princess in. But it's Fräulein says she's happy to see you. That's actually the voice of Ingrid. Amazing star creeps into from three the houses. Sky. Seeking to usurp the rightful territory of the Imanach Reich. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Tis futile. Very different. Verily, my realm shall descend upon warm and distant seas. That is to say, a certain remote and mysterious corner of the seas. Wait, are they doing summer event? Many visitors recently. Does honor beckon, or does disaster? Why is everything through a circle? Fate shall decide. I don't understand. Subjects. Prepare to witness the glorious revival of the Imanach Reich at the hand of the princess in Deva Ertelung. As you behold the image... I don't know how she says fate. that, to be honest with you. In other words, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 2.8 special program. <laughs> Sit oh. back, relax, and prepare to watch our version 2.8 trailer. I... wait. I thought for sure they were going to do, like, Golden Apple or something. If you haven't played the Golden Apple Archipelago, Have you ever met I'm sad for you. Kazuo rerun confirmed? Bruh? Well, I mean, obviously. It's gotta be. Evidently, Klee, too, maybe? Oh, new, new guy! Who got teased, like, ten weeks ago? <laughs> Oh, he's very kicky. Wait, what is- oh, he's a cat- wait. Catalyst? Gotta be Catalyst, right? I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. What is that? Was that his friend's sword? Fischl! Wait, was that the crux? The hell? Mona! Mona! Praise be to the princess who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip. Wait. Look at me, a genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. Oh. We're all okay. Stop calling me that weird name. Okay. Lady Majig. Got it. What? <laughs> we're all just excellent, most excellent. We're we're just we're in Fischl's world and we're just pretending with her. Okay, that makes more sense. That looks like Golden Apple. Summer Fantasia. That looks like Golden Apple. But it's got Mona. First code. You guys already got I bet you already redeemed him already. Cause big bro over here. He's got them lined up for you, all right. Also water. Mm. I'm currently drinking Waterloo Cherry Limeade. Not sponsored, but pretty good. 
I do enjoy the summer berry, though. That's the good good right there. So, Kazuo reruns basically confirmed, right? He's in the event. He's never had a rerun. Basically gotta happen. Klee is here, too. And then, obviously, uh, new Haizo. Is that his name? New, new Kiki Wind guy. Who I'm pretty sure is a catalyst. Based on what we just saw. Uh, I, I don't think... He was just kicking a lot. <laughs> He's got a sword, though. Hey, everyone. Welcome Hello! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 2.8 special program. All right, please I'm impress host, me. I'm Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether, And as always, I'm Why excited to be joined by some very special guests. Is there a slime in Kazuma's Cup? Ingrid Cox, voice of Fischl, Princess and Dova Ertelang. Hello, Ingrid. everybody. I am Mark Whitten, the official. voice of Kaidahara Kazuha. Ben. Um, ben, you there? Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Ben Pronsky, the voice of Fischl's feathery familiar Oz. Oz. A.K.A. the reason people use Fischl. I'll be serving as a Sorry. special plushie for today. Sorry if that hurt. Uh, I'm going to leave most of the talking to you guys, but, you know, I'll still chime in every now and then. You're so cute. <laughs> Good awesome. luck, man. So, uh, first things first, as uh -huh. everyone saw in the trailer, we've got some serious island vibes happening in version 2.8. Golden Apple? Yeah, so cool. In fact, the stories of these islands are closely connected with each of the characters shown here. Mm. That's right. And so to match the beautiful island vibes, there's also an island-themed preview this time around. Ooh. Oh. Let's have a look. Wait. Oh. Huh? This is so pretty. I love all the colors. Indeed. We all I hear is Ingrid. We got a lot to cover. <laughs> so, all I hear is Ingrid. Like to dive in. I hear Ingrid and Constance nice. oh, <laughs> in all of Britney's well, voices. Uh, why don't we start from the left? And uh, I'm totally not saying that because Kazuha's there. So I swear. Sure. Kazuha is Kazuha's there. That, buddy. <laughs> There was some sort of Kazuha event going on, right? Okay, so this bubble contains screenshots from Kazuha's upcoming story quest. Oh. So I want to talk about this floating purple sword. It looks so cool. I mean, Fischl loves mm -hmm. purple. I love purple. I just need to know more. Yeah, and I think the sword looks kind of worn and beat up. Yeah. So, uh... Not sure if I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Ugh. All good observations. I wish I could tell you more, but I am so Oh, come on. Secrecy. Bro. <laughs> it's also pretty ominous. Bro, I'm that's not honest. okay. That's not all right. Oh, I cannot. Okay, fine. <laughs> Next screenshot. Next screenshot, yeah. indeed. That's not okay. I want to know more. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. He's holding the sword. I'm honored to cross blades with you. Okay, he's interesting. He, he's holding the sword. Good duel. Yeah, me too. And it seems like it's an important fight. That was a pretty formal sounding intro. He's holding the sword. For sure. I mean, do we have any idea who this opponent is? I thought he got transported when he touched yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think the what happened? question is why Kazu was in a duel to begin with. I, hmm. He's not typically the kind of guy who's out looking for fights. He's in a duel against an NPC. It doesn't count. These are all fantastic. That's questions. clearly an NPC. So travelers, be prepared to check out all the details when the story quest is live. And we still have one more screenshot, I think. Sweet. So we're still in Inazuma. Oh, his eyes are purple. Hmm, what is going on here? Well, Kazuha's His eyes, eyes are, are purple. purple. I mean, if it was Fischl, I mean, purple would be fine. And it looks like he's forging a blade with a hammer here. Interesting. Yeah, and, and I don't know if you noticed, but the hammer looks like it's glowing with animal power. It is. It's very glowing. Some travelers might remember that Kazuha is from a family of swordsmiths and mm. that his clan was one of the Raiden Gokuden. We did know that. Which were the renowned swordsmith clans in I, Okay, so if we're so getting a Kazuha storyline... art of forging now? Anyway, then Kazuha that means we're serious, still so not in Sumeru. Here. Although I guess that makes sense if this is 2.8. I mean, I Sumeru would probably be 3.0, well, right? Thing I can say is that with the travel Whenever that his side, happens. I'm sure we'll be in for an exciting ride. 
Rhymes. That rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Been spending too much time with Kazuha. Sorry, it's in my. You're it's in a my, poet. It's in my veins. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's. Guys, all tell me what they need to know. The Come on. Version update will be featuring Act One of Kazuha's all-new story quest, Acer Palmatum Chapter. I can't wait for travelers to dig deeper into the story with Kazuha. Yeah. And this bubble also contains info on another character appearing in version 2.8. That's right. Here we have Kazuha's good buddy, fellow AnimoVision holder, and renowned Tenryo detective, Shikanoin Heizo. Oh, Heizo. so they're buds. You bet. Mm. Sweet. Indeed. Okay. Double oh, animo. He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> right there he is check it out he's got this very much eyes. looks like Look that wry smile total detective <laughs> rosaria's kid pretty cool he's ready to battle like if rosaria and diluc had a child <laughs> yeah. it would be it would look a lot like aizo i'm just saying Heizo and kazuha are buds Heizo. i think we can let mark introduce Heizo. Heizo for us I would love to. Heizo has quite the reputation and is the center of many stories circulating around Inazuma, which Kieran is no surprise, Reagan. given that the police station's jail Kieran, is crammed with criminal masterminds Kieran who were all tracked Reagan. down and caught Kieran by Heizo. Reagan. So you could say that he is a genius crime solver, and as a detective, it's Heizo's hope that his name would spread Hold all on. across Inazuma. Though that might kind of sound like he's all about chasing fame, his real ambition is come up. from his views about crime. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, though he has this uncanny crime-solving skills, okay. the vast majority Sorry. of the work as a detective happens only after Here a crime, right. meaning that the pain and the damage of the crime has already been done, which is not always interesting. Reversible. Heizo, He's not on behind the voice actors. True detective, when your huh. reputation is strong enough to make a person think huh. twice before committing a crime for fear of being caught, that's when the role of a detective has really overcome the power of crime and is preventing cases rather than only cleaning up the aftermath. That is so fancy. I mean, you gotta hand huh. it to him. Absolutely, and with these ideas, in relatively mind, not super known. Refused promotions because he really knew. Stay close to the crime Interesting. Scenes. He believes his place okay. is on the front line. So for outsiders, it looks kind of unfair that such a talent should stay at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, Hazo's distant cousin Kano Nana has always thought that he deserved to be promoted for his work. Yeah, I can totally get why she feels that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of detectives, I bet Heizo knows Detective Sango too, right? Yes, he does, in fact. Uh, Sango and Heizo have collaborated in the past, but let's just say they ended up going their separate ways. Oh, mm, bad blood. Like Heizo is kind of like a lonely prodigy that sticks to his own ideals. I like that. <laughs> bad blood. <laughs> I like that too. Very moody there, yeah. But mm -hmm. he's not all that lonely. I mean, he does have Kazuha as a friend. The sure. one, right? <laughs> the so one friend. The Honestly, well, only Kazuma friend you need. Has helped Hazo in the past using his attunement to nature, and with Hazo's sharp intuition, I guess you could say that there's a sort of a natural understanding between the two animo wielders. Oh, and you shouldn't forget Kujo Sara either. She thinks pretty highly of Hazo. Yeah. Getting Kujo Sara's approval definitely can't be easy. So. I guess Sara, the Sara's on the banner, Hazo. isn't she? Yeah, well, to be honest, even though 100%. Sara acknowledges Hazo's abilities, I Sara's on the right up, for to sure. Follow rules and roam about freely draws her sharp tongue more often than not. After all, <laughs> Hazo has his own way of doing things, and he's never in the office. By the way, I did get Ito. Daily responsibilities at the station. So instead, he's always off somewhere. We just we're not going to miss the 50-50 on Kazuma. That's all. So. <laughs> You can only imagine what kind of headaches a subordinate like him no would cause for a serious Easy. leader like Kujo Sara. Easy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I get the picture now. <laughs> you know, I'm sure whatever he lacks in boring office work, he makes up for with his combat abilities. So why don't we talk about that? Let's take a look at combat. His action. Sure. Let's do it. Woo -woo. There's something in the air. Okay. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. He kicks a lot. He's a very kicky lad. Ooh. Some charge action? 
Hold on. Dude, he's like a brawler. That's kind of sick. Those moves are incredible. He makes it look effortless. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this move set. Wow, he's cool. And that voice. He is so a catalyst, cool. right? And he's so cool, confident, and mysterious. What is I love it? it. <sighs> really sleuthy, yeah? Okay, so jumping right in, she can only Okay, that was a hold. A catalyst and carries an animo vision. Interesting. Okay, is the catalyst a melee catalyst user, right? We've never even seen this before. No, it's super cool. That is neat, and actually. Hazo inherited his fighting style and knowledge from his dad. But in reality, Hazo prefers to use his mind rather than his physical strength. But he's a four star, right? Using force whenever possible. Well, that makes sense. Right. You don't want to jump to conclusions. However, when investigating criminal cases, there will always inevitably be some criminals who won't go down without a fight. Hazo is unhappy whenever he That's faces such moments, but he definitely knows how to put his agile skills. He just kind of floats and brawls. That's so and sick. In addition to his normal and charged attacks, his elemental skill is also an unarmed technique. Something cool about Hazo's elemental skill is that it can be held for a charging yeah. effect, which will grant him special declension stacks. Ooh. Once Hazo reaches Seems a like certain four. amount of declension stacks, his elemental skills damage and AOE increase, which will definitely impact the fight in a I see way. four little so icons like there, so Hazo it's got to be four hold, right? A bad idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a good one at all. When Hazo's opponents try to make a break for it and scatter in all directions, Hazo will unleash his Windmuster kick, leaping into the air and kicking something called a Fudo-style vacuum yeah, that's slugger a four -star. towards his enemies. Ooh. The vacuum slugger will explode upon impact, dealing vacuum slugger and creating a vacuum that pulls in nearby opponents in traditional Animo style. Okay. Also, when the vacuum right. slugger hits opponents affected by hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro, it causes a delayed follow-up explosion, dealing damage of the corresponding elemental type. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I really like how his burst has that delayed explosion effect. Just when you think it's over, boom. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. That's really and neat. Finally, with Hazo's They're guidance, genuinely trying something different. Sprinting stamina I kind of love that. Party members allowing your team to catch even the swiftest of criminals without breaking a sweat. Oh man, Hazo sounds like such a cool character. Yeah, he totally does. And I'm sure everyone's waiting to know how they can get Hazo. He seems like he'd but be fun course, to play. Hazo will be available via a new event wish in the early part of version 2.8. And Yoimiya. speaking of cool characters, Kazuha, Klee, and Yoimiya will also be making a return in their very own event wishes. And finally, travelers can look forward to Hazo's very own... Yoimiya phase two? If you'd like to join Hazo in being a detective for a day, then you definitely should check this out. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems you only like need a C zero Kazuo, right? Bubble. Next, we have. Do you need anything beyond the C zero Yoimiya? Oh, it looks so pretty. Please say no. Right? Please say no. This is a scene from the. Maybe I'll just try and get Thundering Pulse movie. for her. Mm, Maybe that's really the better like option. Right and open it is. So pretty. <laughs> oh, and do you see the flowers on the ground? What's with those? Oh, cool. I don't know. And uh, maybe it's like some kind of mechanism or something. Yeah. Why is Xinyan so here? Is connected with Xinyan. <laughs> if you remember the Why is Xinyan here? Started the program. Uh. The island area has some secret connections to each of the characters that were shown there. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Why let's see Xinyan what happens here? when you interact with this instrument. Also, I saw the crux. Okay, the crux That's was like in there. Did a wind current or something? <laughs> it most certainly did. <laughs> After activating the wind current and gliding up. Your Lungies. plunging attack will deal considerable damage, which I think is going to come in pretty handy throughout this challenge. It is fun to plunge. It appears that travelers can choose an instrument to trigger the desired effect. So keep that in mind to quickly defeat enemies. Yep, put them quickly. Down. Just yeah, use the Alon. Am I right? Like a real combat zone. And oh wait, we can't. Can we? Probably area, not. I guess we'll need to use these mechanics to complete the challenge. It seems oh, like yeah. we can. And in such an open area, travelers can quickly test out a variety of effects. Hmm. Interesting. Nice work. So we'll receive some items which can be used in the event shop to exchange for goods. Once you've Floatsome. collected enough items, you can invite Fischl to join your team. Yay! Yeah, I mean, but I have, have official. Official on your team, and but I have a C6 official. You know, Oz is gonna be there right beside her. Yep, that's right. 
In I addition to domains, the Summertime Odyssey event will also feature a sailing game mode. Fun. Nice. Oh, there's some green spheres on the course. Can you tell us about what those do, Zach? That totally. those looks like use. golden apple. Travelers can use an ability to help them collect more. Oh, I see. So that looks a lot like golden games, apple. It looks like another ability is charged up. Is it not? Oh, cool. It's a oh. speed burst. <laughs> wow, you can even break through obstacles. I'm sure that's a good way to make some shortcuts. So can you break through everything on the course? These are the golden apple islands. Oh, yeah. No. No, it seems there are they may not call it that yeah but these are definitely the same Some islands obstacles will require timing and other for sure are too strong to break through nice all right let's see how long it took to I don't the think they're gonna call points. it the same thing not too bad hmm. nice summertime Odyssey will also feature tons of other content and storylines for travelers to explore so yeah, I don't think they're calling it that. I don't think they're calling it golden tons apple of new content so I think it's about time for another tons break. That wasn't yep, really tons of content. It's time for but... another redemption code. I, I will argue that's not a ton of content. That's like, for any other game, that's just a normal amount of content. But for Genshin, yeah, that's that's supposed to last you probably like a month for sure. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm feeling very negative. It looks cool. So far, the Kazawa storyline looks cool. Uh, Hazo also seems really neat. And a four star at that, which is kind of, kind of boss, not gonna lie. I'm not so stoked that Kazuha and Yoimiya are literally right next to each other like that. Kinda was wishing that wouldn't be the case. But, yeah. That's unfortunate. Hopefully there's nobody I really, really like in Sumeru. Ideally. I really am mostly just looking forward to Fontaine after Inazuma. Welcome back, everyone. I'm back. We've seen some of the islands already, but let's dive into what other events travelers can expect to see from the beautiful island area. Sure. First on the list is a challenge event called Reminiscent Regiment. What's unique about this one is that it will be a co-op specific event. Ooh, nice. Party yes. time. Oh, what? Yeah. The event will include multiple different games. What modes, now? So we'll start with the one called Kevin. Convoy. Kevin? Kevin! Fine. Okay. Kevin. So it looks Kevin. like we have a Kevin. big raft here. Kevin, they did this for us. <laughs> it is, right? And they did this for us, bro. Is to protect the vessel ah. from its destination. Let's do this. Nice. Here we go. Uh, Bro, hell yeah! Finally, attacking that we're gonna need to take care of. for a while, Help I was confused right about yourself. why we even have a friends list in, in Genshin. Uh, um, that are the way. Oh, dude! Oh, we're gonna absolutely to spank this entire raft. event! Right. Oh my god! It looks like the raft's energy is continuously dropping. Oh my god! So we need to collect these glowing coins. All right, depending on if it's time gated or not, I will try and coerce Kevin into coming on stream with me, and we will co-op this thing. Fell in the water, hydro traveler. But it will probably be like one thing per day. Maybe we just wait until the whole thing is out. And then we just bang, 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 this knock it out. To handle, you know what I mean? We have to glide everywhere, but it seems we've managed to reach the destination. Yay! Woo. Bro, you know, actually, it's Bro. a lot of fun to participate in co-op games where people have to work together. You know, that mm -hmm. team spirit. Yeah. Totally. Yes, it is. That's why we've been asking for it. Also have two for like an entire year. Raid and descent. Yes. In <sighs> raid, we'll need to navigate your wave rider okay. and board floating platforms to battle opponents. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we'll need a way to fly. So travelers will have to sail through all the oh my God. locations before the wind currents will activate. <gasps> and finally, in descent. Travelers will start from a platform high in the sky and battle their way down. I love flying and battling my way down. Yeah. <laughs> I just That's messaged right. him. <laughs> opponents on the next floating platform. No lie. Literally messaged him. Once you have cleared the opponents on the current floating platform. You know, I have a feeling that this event is going to lead to a lot of ridiculous moments between teammates. Yeah, for, oh, sure. for sure. Totally. That's content. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me another soda. That's content right there. <laughs> no sodas to give. Anyways, I hope everyone will enjoy these cool co-op events. Woo! And 
I hope everyone has their gliding license up to date. Ooh, I don't. Check that. I don't okay, glide. Now that we've I literally zoom around let's have a look at another event as Yelon now. Exclusively. Resonating visions. Echoing Kong. Yeah, this is just, this is, this, event will bring some familiar this is Golden Apple. For experienced players who explored the islands last year. That's right, we'll be searching for conches that contain stories again. Oh, nice. So as travelers are out enjoying the island sun and exploring the map. Okay, so they just said it was Golden Apple without saying it's Golden Apple. That's basically what that is. Different pieces of a story. Right? And once you've collected them, we can all agree on that. And see what story is revealed. I'm really curious to know what kind of stories we'll be hearing from the conches this time around. And just like last time, this event will also be giving players the opportunity to unlock a new outfit. Oh. Parrot, I guess, who's getting new outfits new outfit this time? Just say it. <laughs> I mean, Fischl's here. It's got to be Fischl, right? Yeah. That's right. In version <laughs> Obviously. 2.8, Fischl will be getting an all-new outfit. Ah, yay! <laughs> uh, wait, does Mo... Wait. Everything. Totally fit for a uh, Okay. Person. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you okay. Guys noticed that. No okay. Way. Hear What's me out. You know, Kazda was not getting an all, right? He's not getting an outfit. Out. Mona, however, was in the story. Are we getting a Mona outfit? Pretty awesome. Yeah. Bro, are we getting a Mona outfit? The Mona main in me is so happy right now. Fun events and tons rewards, so I think it's gonna be a. The official outfit looks good. Heard though that the islands have undergone some interesting changes. That's kind of a dope outfit. We visited with Clee. I wish it did more than just like exploration mechanics to try so travelers can Well, I guess it changes their eye color, I guess. If it did like different animations, that would be cool. I hope everyone will have fun and, you know, make lots of beautiful memories visiting the islands again. Yeah, can't wait to go. There's really unless you really like the character, there's not really a point in getting the skin. In addition to the island events, version 2.8 will also be featuring a variety of other updates. Mhm. First up, D Luke will also be receiving a new outfit, which will be available to purchase in the shop. Bro. Travelers can learn the backstory behind the outfit, which is super cool. But Bro. the hidden stripe challenge event. Bro. For that ponytail. <laughs> okay. The it's not Mona. However, high pony D Luke awesome. yeah. is so good. And as a matter so of fact, sick. This will be the game's first ever five star outfit. Wait. But we already have outfits for Jean and Kutching, though. Right, but this outfit itself is five stars. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wait, what? So let's take a look at what travelers. The outfits have rarities too. So it looks like we can try out D Luke's new outfit. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, so the costume has some new effects for D Luke. Indeed, it does. There's even a new idol animation included with this costume, and it's. It's sweet. doing. Th Bro, anywhere on this outfit, huh? So, uh, does he keep it in his pocket or bro, tucked away somewhere else? It actually <laughs> does stuff. Look at me, uh, but it looks like there will be lots of backstory to go along with the outfit, so be sure to check that out. Interesting. So, in addition to the backstory content, what kind of challenges can travelers expect? Why are they calling out the well, vision? It'll be similar to the Phantom Flow of why is, had before. Why are there a of set objectives for travelers? Why are there reach? stories? So it's just it's an outfit. An objective, That's five stars, outrage, evidently. Might affect, will be unlocked, Bro, what? We'll add buffs for the next battles. Nice. Next version 2.8 will have an event that's all about gears and components. It's called Evermotion Mechanical Painting. Sweet puzzles. <laughs> mm -hmm. That seems this less exciting. Really I'm going to keep it honest. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so you're building a clock. It looks like we need to take the components and place them on this mechanical board. Yeah. You know, all this okay, I'm not going to lie to you, I kind of love this. Things we've seen from Fontaine before. Huh. I think Why are we teasing that. Fontaine so much? Seems like the, the little toy making together. event that's currently going on is Fontaine nice. driven. They're starting to rotate now. Hey, that didn't look too hard. Yeah, not bad. But and Mona's there, who I'm pretty sure is also from Fontaine. The event probably won't be so simple. Right, right. Yeah, this one looks like it's separated into an upper and lower. Are we level. going to Fontaine? That's gonna be a little bit tougher. Surely we're not. Travelers will have to think about how to move the gears. Surely 3.0 is definitely Sumer, right? Neat. There's even gears made for two levels. Uh, these are gonna Bro, be if they hit me with Fontaine like immediately <laughs> after Inazuma, I would lose my mind. Too much gameplay here. We don't want to ruin the puzzles for everyone. It'll be no fun if everyone watched us solve them. 
what Brittany means to say is she has no idea how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I know how to solve it. <laughs> All right, Ben. I thought you were done talking. <laughs> nope. I will solve the okay, puzzle. Okay, I believe we've covered most of the main I do love a good puzzle event. In version 2 They're just always so so it's short. Probably time to take another quick break. Mm -hmm. And another quick break means another redemption code. Woo! Okay. You guys have all of this. Just as a reminder, we'll still have some exciting info following the break, so be sure to stick around. Okay. I'll stick around. Dude, that's sick about the skin, though. So, Fitchels does nothing. It changes her eye color. <laughs> but Diluc has a five-star skin. I never paid attention to what the rarity of the skins were. I guess because they were all just four-star? Are they all four star? Now I have to go back and look. Dude, that's crazy. I like that though. I hope they start doing that more. Like actually making skins worthwhile. I literally said there's no point in getting a skin and then they come out and we're like, oh, hey, by the way, <laughs> wrong. Big reason. The animations are different. He evidently does not have a vision. There's a story behind the outfit, which I guess is important. That's a big deal. That's effort. Hoyo versus putting in effort. We love that. We love to see that. Welcome back, everyone. Before we reach the end of today's Join program, Mia artwork? We have Hello. To share with everybody. Mm -hmm. I bet That's Hazo's right. friends with Yoi Mia. Yoi Mia is friends session. with everybody. Soundtrack. Genshin Impact's commemorative soundtrack? OST album. Y'all held the soundtrack and know this for the last. Will be released soon. That's wild. And this particular album contains and many anticlimactic. pieces of music from the game, including music from the moment Kazuha blocks the Shogun's Musono Hitotachi. We also have a trailer for the new soundtrack. Let's take a look. Guoba! Dude, the Globe event was so sick, though. Please don't copy claim this video. La 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 No copy claim. Nice. Oh, I can't wait. Wow. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but sorry. If you really wanted to hear that, I'm sorry. Coming in version 2.8. Oh, yeah, I am officially super excited about version 2.8. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> especially all the cool new outfits. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for Evermotion Mechanical Painting and it checking out the islands and conquering all of the puzzles in it's, these upcoming It's events. really about the islands for me. No puzzle undone. We're finally in summer <laughs> event. <laughs> Because Golden yeah, Apple was sick. Say, I'm super excited to be here. And it was lo like there was a lot of content with Golden Apple Archipelago. On the program, so thank you so much for having us. Yay. And uh, I you can't guys are wait awesome. for you're cousin. awesome. <laughs> no, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. We're <laughs> all awesome. Uh, look at us, big family. And we can't forget our special plushie, Ben. <laughs> How was your first special program? Uh, I'm hungry. All right, and that just about ben. does it for today's well special done, program. <laughs> Travelers can keep an eye out I'm with Ben on this one. Official announcements to get more information on version 2.8. And that's it for us. Thanks, yeah. everyone. See you in game. Later, y'all. That was it. Bye. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Wait. This place is what? hopping with activity. The sunshine makes the sandy beaches here glow like the embers of a pyro slime. And next to the cool, sparkly water, what a view! What is this? Only the desert sand and the jungle ring could get along like this. That would be perfect. Oh, you can hear me? Hmm, how curious. Bro, what? Huh? You say you're a traveler? Well then, maybe I could offer you a bit of knowledge. And we don't know who this is, right? I don't recognize this voice. How about it? Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait, is that Sumeru? Wait. 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 Wait, 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 wait. I saw an outfit. 
It looks Sumer Sum Sumerarian. Wait. 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 Oh, that's definitely Sumeru. Yo. You'll have to wait until we meet in person, though. But I'm sure Destiny will bring our paths together soon. What does that mean? Is that it? Oh my god, that's it! Okay! Um... 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 Uh... Wait, what is chat saying? Bro! <laughs> Okay. All right. Um well, 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 dang, man. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um that's that's all there is, I guess. I'm okay. We're we're just going to we're going to we're going to Yeah, we're going to hide shit. There we go. All right. Well, hey. Uh that was fun. <laughs> I thought it was weird that they were waiting until like the end to, sh to, to just talk about a soundtrack. That seemed weird, huh? And they ended up hitting us with a little Sumeru slap to the face. Wow. Okay. Um. That's hype. That's hype. That that's them foreshadowing 3.0, I assume, right? Like Inazuma was 2.0, right? So like. They're they're gonna make 3.0 be Sumeru, probably, right? Like I assume just every new region is gonna be like a, a main update. Right? I don't know. There there was there were there were there were there were there were highs and lows. <laughs> there were highs and lows in this one. Uh, Golden Apple is is back, kind of. I got to see literally nothing to do with Mona in the new event, and I'm a little bit niffed about that, keeping it honest with you. Um, but that's exciting, I guess. Wow. All right. There's a co-op event? I'm going to have Genshin content. Yay! That's very exciting. I think. I hope. I'm hopeful. Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you were most excited about, I guess, uh, if this if this was exciting for you. If not, uh, I'm very sorry. But Summer Makaya Summon Session uh, 4 will be live tomorrow, so please look forward. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to grab your codes. Don't forget about those. Uh, and uh, like, subscribe, uh, all all those things. All those things are very helpful. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go message Kevin until he, until he, until he responds to me. Uh, anyway, thanks again. And until then, I will catch you next time. <laughs>